So let's have a look here. I'll just close these ones because now I will have to look at my my uh, Angular application. And in my Apple Angular application, I have a products service. And this service will go and fetch my JSON file locally. So if I just delete this one, so I know I have any products here. And if I go to my browser, uh, there's no uh, products anymore. So um, I think, uh, and perhaps I even will give, get an error here because it cannot find the uh, product station. Then um, I would like to go in my service and then change this one to API products instead. Because then it should uh, fetch my, my, I have only one product right now, but it will fetch this product. So let's go have a look in my browser. It should have reloaded, yes. So now I have my old Rasputin here. Um, and I can just um, uh, use my, my data directly from, uh, from Angular. So now I have uh, a connection and then I could do the same with my categories. Instead of these categories, I could go and fetch them with, uh, with uh, the API instead. And why do I call it API? Because it signifies that this is my API for, for my database. Um, you don't have to have an API folder, but yeah, I think it's it's uh, it's okay to to do that um, as a common naming uh, convention. So I know this is just for for getting and setting data, um, and then perhaps I will have another uh, another controller for uh, for some administration or whatever it may be. So now we have some uh, connection from uh, Angular to uh, MongoDB. And let's just run through it fast. That uh, in my application here, I added uh, mongoose and uh, added the database name. So it's possible for me to start up the mongoose here. And when the mongoose has started, I start the node server here. And um, in my uh, in my models, I have this mo this uh, this model uh, based on a schema for my uh, collection. And in uh, and this module will just export the model, so I can use it in my controller, uh, where I can use it down here to get all my products with the basic find, which will return the data and output these data as JSON, and then I can use them from my service in AngularJS uh, by using uh, instead of having this uh, this JSON file, I will uh, go and get it from API slash products because I set this up here in my route that API products when I get a get request I will execute this method and this method is called get old we have it here this one that we talked about a bit uh, right now so hopefully you uh, you were able to use this to uh, get a connection from uh, your Angular uh, application to your MongoDB backend.